This is a project that I recently completed converting from condensate pumps to a sump pump. This is the area where I created a circular hole in the basement floor adjacent to a condensate pump that you see there and then another one which you'll see in the separate picture right over here. This is next to the hot water heater which is tankless. This is the end result as you can see you have a sump pit and I put some plastic wrap just so that any um, the, the water that's in this sump pit doesn't evaporate. Um, this sump pit is in a, a closed container so it actually is not you know going into the ground and it has nothing to do with the ground water uh, and the water that goes into this pit actually just simply comes back uh, out. It, it doesn't have anything to do with the ground. Um, this is a HVAC unit and uh, you can see the water would come down here, drip down there, water could drip down here, um, go through this T, pass this T, and then just you know drip into the sump pit from here. And then you have a, um, this is a uh, direct, uh, what's it called, uh, a tankless hot water heater, um, direct vent, and uh, see the uh, drip down there into this and then come across uh, into here. So everything comes together into this uh, sump pit and then there's a uh, pump. I'll show you a picture uh, of that uh, also. Uh, it's a, basically a sump pump and that will pump the water up. There's also, you can, can't really see it, but there is a valve in there, so uh, a, a one-way valve so that the um, water it doesn't uh, if you don't want it to pump up and then fall back down uh, you want it to you know once it pumps it up it should stay above so anyway that's what that valve is for it goes up uh, about eight feet uh, then it goes over uh, about three feet and then turns here for another three feet and then basically just goes directly outside uh, over there uh, which you can't see that well uh, basically, this works very well, this system. Um, I mean, I've only had it in for a couple of weeks now, but it only runs maybe once to twice a day. Uh, it pumps out a few gallons, and uh, hopefully this will give me years of trouble-free, trouble um, you know, condensate removal, uh, rather than, um, you know, having those uh, little pumps break and clog on me. Uh, inevitably every year. Uh, this little round disc, in case anyone's wondering, uh, is a, um, a water sensor uh, using a Z-Wave, uh, which is hooked through my SmartThings system. Here's a look inside the sump pit. As you can see, uh, there's some water dripping down. Uh, you have this um, nice uh, cast iron sump pump. Um, I'll put the specs uh, in in a minute. I forget the, if it was a half a horsepower or one third horsepower. I think it's a Wayne pump. And then you have this um, little valve here, um, which uh, restricts the, uh, the flow. It's a one-way valve um, and everything is just uh, PVC. I uh, use two different types of PVC pipe. Uh, this is a, I think a one inch uh, PVC here. Probably says it on it somewhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah, one inch schedule 40, and then uh, schedule 40. Um, I did want to mention one other thing. You can barely see it, but there's a brick. I put some bricks underneath the um, the pump so that it holds the pump up a little bit above the bottom. Um, this makes you know getting getting the pump in and out easier because if I take the bricks out then I could drop the pump below you know whereas if it was all the way on the bottom I wouldn't be able to like you know pull the pump down to to release these fittings because you know if you unscrew this, these fittings you're not going to necessarily be able to pull anything apart the way I, I installed this so the bricks underneath it um, you know basically just make it easier to maintain uh, in case I had to do that later.